Dan at Marginally Clever here. We're putting together a Michelangelo, and now I'm going to put together the pen holder. Um, the first piece is. Thank you. And thank you. Now notice one is a circle and one is an oval. This is important. This electrical connector has the same oval shape. These will go together. This will come in. The screw will go in here and that will hold it together. And your pen will go in the center of this piece. So now you know what we're going to do. Let's show you how we assemble this. I like to use instant contact cement. You can use hot glue. You can use wood glue. These are all viable options. First the circle, then the oval. Pay close attention to how I've mounted this match this or things won't work right and you'll be sad and have to redo it. Now, see this will not turn. This should be pointing down. I'm going to turn this over and tighten this in. Nice and tight. So, when your pen goes in here, like so. And you can adjust the distance by giving it a little twist and pull. The servo comes with all of these fun parts, almost none of which you need. This is the only piece that you need. This servo will mount like so. This will mount like so. And when the servo turns, it, this finger will move through, through the wood, and that makes the difference between lifting the pen and lowering the pen. The tip of the pen must come through the wood but not as far as the servo finger so that the finger can lift the pen off the paper. It's a very small distance, but it's enough to do the job. I'm putting this through the hole, around the back, through from the other side. This way, This way, the servo is securely held in place. Notice that both ends of the zip tie, the fat ends of the zip tie, are on this side of the wood. We want as little as possible interfering on this side. And there we have it. If you find that this side of the servo finger interferes with the screw because you have a larger marker in here, feel free to cut it off. Like so. You still have the piece that you need, but now nothing's in the way of your screw. For your Michelangelo 3, 
There's one little trick with this wiring. You need to reverse, you need to swap the white wire and the red wire. When you push a pin under the front edge, you can pull that out. And then put them back in again. Carefully note which way is up. They should make a little click when they go back in. That's how you know they've locked in place. And there we go. So they're reversed at this end. And again, that's only for the Make Land Flow 3. When you connect that together, match the black wires together. Notice black and black are on the same side. Lastly, these two M3 by 45 screws. So lastly, we'll do, a, we'll do our belts and we'll show you how to connect the rest of it.